From beautiful Williamsburg, Virginia, it is the CAA at its best, New Hampshire visiting the tribe of William and Mary. On the other side, they're both great men and they've done great jobs with their programs. Hunter Wittenmuller will take the punt, number one in the CAA, averaging 47 yards a kick. Casey DeAndre back at his own 10. He's got some room up the middle. Here comes DeAndre. Once again, one man to beat. Not gonna happen. DeAndre down the sideline, the 20, the 10, cuts inside. Touchdown, Casey DeAndre with a 90-yard punt return for score. New Hampshire on the board. Second and six from the 29. Clearly out of the shotgun. The give and reverse from Anderson to Devontae Devin with a nice block outside and Devin down the right sideline. He did say fork. Second and goal from the two. And Cluley on the play action, he's got some room on the left side, trying to get to the corner of the end zone, and he does. Touchdown, Steve Cluley, the junior from Nusquan, New Jersey, 6'3", 215. He beats Casey Andre to the corner. Sean Goldrich out of the shotgun. Pressure coming, goes up right side, got the big fella. Nice grab, throw and catch Rory Donovan. On the completion, the freshman from Kenton, Massachusetts. That's good work by Bryant to just cut back enough to give himself room. Third and one, and there's Dalton Crossett up the middle. One man to beat, and he does it. And Derek Dalton Crossett from 37 yards out with the touchdown for New Hampshire. And just like that, second and three for the tribe. Clearly out of the shotgun. He'll give to Anderson right up the gut. One man to beat, and he will beat him. 69 yards for Kendall Anderson. Chick, has the mood changed here at Zabel Stadium or what? Crowd's quiet all of a sudden. Cluley on the quarterback keeper down the left sideline, and he'll be knocked out of bounds at the 15-yard line. He's averaging 10.2 yards a carry. Cluley, the give to Anderson, and he just walks right in, untouched for the touchdown. Devontae Debman averaging 17 yards. Oh, and there's a snap, and Christian Breda can't hold it. Here's the kick and the nice catch and return. Well done by DeAndre Houston Carson with a big play last week and comes up with another big one right here. Cluley out of the shotgun, Widinger. Slight motion, they'll set on the left side. And Kendall Anderson once again. And there is a, well, you know what, he tricked me. I thought he gave him the give, but clearly he kept it himself for the score. He's back, he's got three punt returns for 59 yards so far on the day. Breda, last time out, couldn't handle the snap. This time, that ball gets blocked away. And once again, special teams huge, and guess who? DeAndre Houston Carson, this time, makes the block. Last time, got the kick. Tribe looking to put the hammer down and put the nail in the coffin with 12.28 to go here in this fourth quarter of play. Cluley still looking for throws. Left side, got Devontae Devin, cross the middle, fights his way in, touchdown, Raymond Mary. And just like that, and just like you like, after a turnover, they go for it and they get it. That's right. Richie DiPietro on the tackle. First and 10 from the 43. Goldrich picked down. Zach Fetters. The guy who plays in place of Luke Rhodes and Zach Fetters with the interception and a fine defensive play for the senior from Montgomery Village, Maryland. Again, all is not lost for Sean McDonald and his crew. A couple of special teams mistakes. Can't drop the ball in the end zone when he got a chance. And for Jimmy Laycock, it's all in front of them. They have the teams lined up to beat if they want to make it to the playoffs. Your final score, 34 to 18. The win now moves them, the Tribe, to three and one in the CAA for the first time since 2010.